Oh my goodness. Hi everybody. It's Ray. It's Life and Vibe. And I'm still reacting to this day four technically of Tim's content. I'm hoping that since I have no errands and nothing going on tomorrow, that I will be able to just get into his content and get it out earlier in the day because obviously I'm getting it out so late. Um, but yeah, it's what it is. But you know, I'm a hard worker. <laughs> And then once I set myself a challenge, I like to complete it. So yeah, first thing I wanted to go over was just because it was just driving me nuts. I wanted to check the stats uh, for life expectancy. So let me make me real small. Okay. Don't forget, don't worry, I'm gonna get the disclaimers out. I'm just nowhere near Tim's con content yet. <laughs> so here. This is from the National Center for Health Statistics from the Centers of Disease Control. Um, they are supposedly our experts on this stuff, but this is their statistics. They obviously gather all of this information. And we can see that was coming out uh, for 2022 because there's our source here, mortality in the United States. <laughs> they get all these figures in, and they're actually stating that um, the life expectancy for a male currently is 74.8 years. Um, for a lady, for a female, it's 80.2. And obviously, what I noted of interest is it increases every single year. So it is increasing from obviously it. Sorry, I'm moving my camera around because I'm going to have to pause this. Oh, I didn't want to open up that door. Hold on. All right. Sorry about that. <laughs> sorry. I just uh, had the door shut where the wireless is and it's in the room that's supposed to come to the studio, but I'm so busy cranking out Tim content. <laughs> I'm no time. I barely get my laundry done. What can I say? Anyway, um, it's a combined age of both male and females, as this is how they're doing it. I'm sorry they haven't added in for a third category. I'm sorry they just haven't. <laughs> it's 77.5 years um, for male uh, altogether, sorry, combined, with males being at 74.8 which is close, really, it would round up to 75, and ladies at 80.2. So, and it's increasing every year, like, since even 2021, obviously, there could have been a dip, because we had, obviously, something happening at the time that was unusual, <laughs> but it has, since 2021, it's increased. So, at one point, it was 73 for males, but it's not that now. So, anyway. I just wanted to clarify those stats real quick. All right, let me just throw out some disclaimers, get this started, save my voice uh, for tomorrow. Let me make sure I loop this. Oh, there we go. Oh, see, I forgot to loop it. So, yep, just to, you know, everyone knows this is for education purposes only. Obviously, I am just using the content from this creator to kind of just learn a little bit about him, cults of personality, charisma, how it's used in social media platforms, how it attracts people. Um, just, it's, it's fascinating for me. It's, a, it's, a, it's just an interest for me. Uh, again, um, though I am a registered nurse here in the United States and have over 10 years in practice and have just a year left in graduate school, studying to be a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner, I'm not treating or diagnosing anybody in this video, and only my thoughts are just my opinions and my opinions only, and and potential speculation with what's going on with Tim. Okay, <laughs> I don't do any other other stuff. Okay, <sighs> let me bring on Tim. Tim is uh, telling us it's 113 degrees, and that's very hot, very hot. But it's a dry heat. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I'm going to sound very delirious and like looking really bleary eyed at this point because <sighs> it's getting like bedtime for me. It's kind of past my bedtime, but I'm determined to keep up with this challenge, even with all that's happening in my own personal life, since my content is not my personal life, unless you've seen Crushing It for Coffee, which is one of the most excellent uh, videos ever made for YouTube. <laughs> 
written, produced, directed, starring me. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Sarasota Tim. I can't find my selfie stick, and if I did, I probably couldn't hold it. Oh, God. All right, I give. Yeah, Indian, 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 sure I give. I just, just double check it. I've got into 1.25. Thank you, I do. Okay, good. Off you roll, Tim. Sorry. Just want to make sure he's not a normal. I give. I'm tapping out. Oh, my goodness. This is hot. I just got into the cr uh, crusher here, and I'm going to tell you, my little knob right here. Woo! My, my sunglasses <laughs> were sitting up on the dash. My leather seats. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Neither this is shoes. hot. Everything is like in an oven. You cannot touch anything. Woo I got to get out of here, baby. I didn't go to Kingman because it's going to be 97 tomorrow. I'd rather do that because it's going to be under the 100, which I love. It's 103. Anything over 100 gets to be hot. This is 112. This is. I guess we're using the back of the truck like a storage area. We got this little hanger up there too because there's not enough room in the RV because you've got so many hats and so much stuff. See, that's not allowed in the UK because that would be temptation for people to break into your vehicle and then you go to your insurance and say, hey, someone broke into my vehicle. Well, you left out all the stuff that was tempting them to break into it. So you wouldn't get covered in insurance in England. You gotta cover that stuff away. Not leave out things that people want to steal. And then make an insurance claim. Beyond hot. This is uninhabitable. So <clears throat> I thought, well. Obviously not, Tim. I'll just take the uh, you. It's not because it, I see all this habitation around you. <laughs> and people in cars. So obviously that's already a lie. <laughs> I'm just going to nitpick. Today off, rest my back. I'll play tomorrow. Maybe I'll play 36 holes. Oh. And I'll um, Boris with you know, just pay for a uh, a replay. You pay a card fee, and they'll let you go around again. Uh, can you can you please not show us thirty six rounds of golf with your thirty six holes of you with golf tomorrow, please? Ah. <gasps> uh. It is. I know my views was funny because he said about this. Just everyone, God bless me for this. I really am delving into what's going on. But like I said, by about this hour, I start to get tired, and <laughs> it won't be so hot. Oh, hang on a minute. <laughs> Just laughing at this point. Welcome to Arizona. Thank you. You always got to be courteous and uh, let her know that you appreciate her welcoming you. Anyway, I was going to go to the pool. Not think again. It might even be hot enough that you could get in and dare try that 55 degree water in the Colorado River. It probably feels like 25 degrees because of the heat outside. Folks, I don't know if you've ever been here or Death Valley or somewhere where it was 115. It's the neighbor who likes to talk about the weather. What can I say? Gosh. He has said more about the weather than anybody I know. If there's anything that teaches you just not to just complain or just go off on stuff, it's this time being spent with Sarasota Tim this week. It really has me rethink how I approach people, how I consider things. I mean, I feel like I'm really learning. And then, you know, obviously the things I talk about that I find fascinating from a psychological point of view. Because it's obviously that's that's what I find interesting. I always have. Now I get a chance to actually really do it. I'm excited. Anyway, keep going. 10 degrees. 109. It's not even 12. It just passed 12 o'clock. It's 12.06. And the hottest temperature will be around 4. Supposed to get up to like 113, 117. What's the difference? Boiler. Not boiler. That's with humidity. Uh, cooker. A cooker, man. Wow. So I thought, let me go over to the pool, you know, get a little color going. Are you kidding? You couldn't stand in the pool with your, sh with your shoulders out in the sun. It's burning your skin. I see people getting out of their car running to the casino to get inside like they're running from a thunderstorm. <laughs> Holy crap. Did I tell you it was hot here? It's hot, man. How hot is it? Jackrabbits are carrying canteens. Wow. 
man, this is something. Whoo! And don't you know 103 is like winter up in Kingman to get a break from this. So what am I doing? I desperately need to go to the gym. So uh, I've been eating like it was free uh, for the last few meals I've had, several meals, while Timmy was here. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to go up here to Planet Fitness. Is that when you were coveting his pizza because he had a nicer crust? And from what I can remember, too, you were there at the buy one, get one free for the buffet. So I guess you paid half and he paid half. I guess that, that was the only time that Timmy had something in his favor. Or did Timmy pay for the meal, too? Because you invited him to your RV <laughs> camper place. Or gave him, I don't want to know. Keep work out in, him. walk on the treadmill, in the air conditioning. I mean, you can't even walk outside. This blows, baby. Blows hot. Mm. So, Very I don't know. If there's no um, sign of... Sorry, I was just saying it's uncomfortable for dogs. Sorry, I'm tired. Of, and my dog is looking at me, and she's so cute, and I need to take her outside. So, hurry up, Tim. <laughs> I, I'm going to have to go on up to Senior oh, Creek, Senior City. <laughs> if they had a place... Um, to stay for a few weeks in Kingman, mm -hmm. which they don't, I'd go there. Look at what we're play seeing in his glasses, okay? This looks so unsafe. So, Tim, are you holding on to the camera? What is going on here? Is that your arm? What? How? With the camera? And you're just talking? Because you do move it around. It just it seems very unsafe that you don't have both hands on the wheel. And one with a camera. That's very distracting. How are you driving? I mean, your eyesight, I understand, is somewhat compromised. Don't you think you want to fully focus on the road? And you're also breaking YouTube's ter terms of service. I, I, I don't know if it's just for live streams, but you shouldn't be talking and filming. They don't like that. It's not safe. It's illegal in Virginia. And being there, it was nice this morning. I was scared one time I did it for that. Only 103. What a difference a little what? altitude makes. Like 3,300 feet. Uh, like 2,500 more. 2,800 more yes. feet. Yes. Almost 3,000. Jesus, I can see his arm right here. Hold on. Let me go back a wee bit. This is what we do in reaction channels. <laughs> this is this is our lives. Yeah, we're pathetic. But this is dangerous. Look, I fully see. Hold on. I saw it. I had a great shot for a second. Oh, let me go back. Let me stop. See, look right here. You see, like, right there is his arm with the camera. Keep going, Tim. And being there, it was nice over. this morning. The Switch is over. Forecast. I guess his arm gets And only 103. What a difference. A little Leaning altitude up makes. Against, he like 3,300 feet. switches his arms. Right there. Just switches over because I guess the arm was getting tired. You can get little things that you stick on here that they can twist both ways round. And it doesn't really obscure anything for the camera. Very thin. I mean, you can get all sorts of things if you feel the need to film. This, this is so dangerous. Oh, my God. I, I love the day. We won't see that film if we got pulled over for the police for this malarkey. Janine uh, again. Like 2,500 more. 2,800 more feet. Just Almost 3,000 because this is only 500. Need uh, this, this is like Death Valley here. It's still my favorite place. Uh, it's just like Florida is wonderful in the winter, but terrible in June, July, and August. This, I, I mean, it would be a contest of what's worse. This, what kills me is he holds the camera for like 15 minutes. He's got his arm leading up against the thing. Just what are you thinking? Or God. the humidity in the summer in Florida. They're both miserable. Oh. Beat you down heat. Oh. Wow. Did I say it was hot yet? Let me tell you, folks. Mm. I almost just slipped and said that mm, possibly Florida wouldn't even be as bad. But I've been there many, many oh, years, quick. and I can tell you. Oh my God. Uh, on the dog days of summer, He's not you don't spend any time outside. You don't go golf. You don't do anything. You don't How are you concentrating on the road? That's the title. You keep going. I'm right. I'll go down. to the pool. All the furniture out there. We had this pool in Sarasota <laughs> when Miss T and I lived over there. I don't know who the genius was. It put metal uh, chase lounges out there. They had the little plastic straps, but the the, the furniture itself was metal. And uh, well, the people that want the furniture to last, and you're supposed to put a cushion on it so you don't feel that metal. 
Oh no, Tim. It's it's probably more durable. Metal. <laughs> and uh woo, that was hot. You didn't put towels or anything over your chair uh, so you wouldn't burn to death. Oh. So yeah, I know Dallas gets triple digits. It's hot, right? It's it's summer. Not even summer yet. We've got a few more days, a few more a couple more weeks. 21st of June, right? Man, oh man. But once yeah. that Memorial Day comes, like they say, that's the kickoff. And it is absolutely hot. No, that's just, they just made that the start of summer. We're, we're just barely into spring at that point. It's not officially summer. It's just that they decided to start, you know, opening pools and stuff about that time. <laughs> just getting it, getting the marketing out there, Tim. You've been swept up by marketing. But you're probably, in my opinion, somewhat gullible. I'm going to have to remember to crack my windows in this truck. Uh, I know they say the windows don't really blow out, uh, but I'm going to let the heat get out. That was just too hot in here when I opened this truck up. Goodness gracious. Oh, the, the arm switch again. Yeah, you know, that's why it looks like it does uh, on the desert over there. Oh, my God. Because of all the eons oh, of being been, scorched. Why has he got just so much stuff in his vehicle, like a storage unit? I mean, it just has got to be killing the gas mileage on that truck. All of those things. He, he's a, the minimalist Tim here has to have an overflow storage section in his tundra. Oh, my goodness. Look at all this stuff. Oh, this is wild. Oh. <laughs> Oh my God, as wild as my hair. All right, keep going, Tim. I don't have less than 10 minutes. For three short less months <laughs> of intense heat. It's like uh, putting your cornbread in the oven, and instead of 30 minutes, you're leaving it in there for three months. <laughs> for th and for eons. You know, you can melt, you can put a black skillet oh, in an oven uh, with nothing in it for eons, and it would probably <laughs> melt. So we'll have to figure something else out here and quick. And if I did move or leave, I would have to do it first thing in the morning. I wouldn't even want to do it at night. Even at night, after the sun goes down, it's hot. I mean, at least the sun's not on you, but man, I got a deal waiting on me in Senior Creek, a senior city. I got a deal waiting and there's plenty of golf in uh, St. George. I might have just... I'm too cheap to forfeit my rent. I just paid. <laughs> What's today? Tomorrow's All right. Friday? All right. I can do anything for a couple more days. I'll well, I'm glad you can just... I'm, I'm glad... Oh, God, you are so... You just lay mile in your mood swings on this. And the heat. You were going to stay there because it was less expensive. You've now admitted that you are cheap. We know that you're cheap, Tim. You don't need to admit it, but I'm glad you admitted at least something truthful. Um, and you were just like, I'm just going to stick it out. I've got the casino here. I'm just going to be in and out. And now, because, and you talked about, I thought the bus that would take you to the casino and how you stayed in the air conditioning, this, that, and the other. And now you're losing it because you can't get to the golf course like you want to because it's too hot. It's probably a heat wave just coming through. Maybe you just need to sit tight and just bear and grin and bear it. I don't know. Do what you need. Don't be cheap. You know what? For that, for that, for that comment, there's only one thing that I can say to that, Tim. And I'm going to let Judge Mathis actually say this. No, no. I simply asked. I said, I wish I could have this dry bag. Well, I mean, how do you know what that is? Oh, God. It just feels like a dry bag anytime you complain about the cost to something to me. Oh. Plan your fine. I don't know. But you knew all this. Look at how many hats. This is absolutely insane. Back there. Boxes. What is the storage for you going on back here? I'll get through it. Tomorrow I'll be 97 in Kingman. I'll play golf maybe all day, go to the gym there, hang out at Walmart, whatever, come back. And then Saturday or Sunday, there won't be much traffic either driving. I, I potentially will hook her up, hook her on up, and head on out. 
It's another hour drive to uh, uh, Harry Reid Airport in Vegas from uh, Senior City, but you know it's only an hour How and a half from here uh, to pick up Miss T. How safe is this? Not come on, look at he's just talking away to the camera. To, 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 to everyone on the road, Tim's coming through in his tundra. He's got to make content for almost 16 minutes driving and switching arms. So clear to see you in your mirrored sunglasses, Tim. It's so dangerous. Nobody wants uh, the time I did it for the one crushing it for coffee. I felt so, I had it on so I felt so reckless. <laughs> Made me very uncomfortable. And I picked in a very slow moving traffic areas. It still it was making made me feel very uncomfortable. I'm oh, sorry I keep playing with my nose. It's irritating me. Oh goodness, Tim. This is just an accident waiting to happen. I thought your eyesight was not great. But heck, she could change her mind. She may say, I don't even want to land in it. Even if we get out of it right away. No, just kidding. If I'm in senior city. She's going to, um, you know, go right back to beautiful weather. And that would probably be, I mean, there's no reason for her to want to hate on this anymore than she might already. So I need to be out of here. I think when I, um, pick her up and have her go back to somewhere, I mean, Vegas already is going to be hot enough. We'll just go from the, uh, airport terminal, uh, to the car and, um, and start driving. And by the time I get to senior city, uh, she'll get out and like, Oh, this is not bad. Uh, there's no reason uh, to experience this. For me, for her, anybody here. I feel Tammy can't spend the night at at least one good Seats of Palace casino and just have a little Vegas fun. You know, dar dar she's had a long ass flight from the East Coast because it's a long flight to Vegas, by the way. I've taken it a number of times from the East Coast. It's not, it's, it's, it's further than you realize. It's like you're literally in California. So it is. So untangible and so selfish than to put this person in a car for another drive. And just why don't you just stay the night at the, in Vegas? Show her a good time. Let her just have a nice shower in the hotel and feel good before you stick her in the RV uh, and the communal showers. I'm sure she loves that. Oh, sorry for those that are trapped. This is crazy. Now, I've asked a lot of people. They've done they've done this for years. They've been living here. You know, they're like, well, I said, well, how do you do it? Hey, you know, you just do your thing in the morning. You do it at night. Right. And you stay in the air conditioning during the day. Uh -huh. you, know, you watch TV. Um, go visit somebody. Um, you just don't come out. You can read. You can work on puzzles. I mean, I end up spending time inside because I'm doing commentary on your stuff. But a lot of times I'll be studying. It's not easy to do that on a beach, Tim, or on a golf course. You know? I know it's not just not your life. You just want to play golf all the time. God, I would not want to be in a partnership with a person that obsessed with one thing or oh, during those hours. All over the place with and that's what you have to do. Choices. And you really don't have any choice about it because if you do say, oh, I'm going to go out during those hours, you won't be out there but a second. You'll be looking for some shade or a, even shade won't help you. You'll be looking for an air conditioner. You'll be looking for some shelter. I mean, man, it's like coming out into a thunderstorm. you got to run for your life. <laughs> Oh my God! Did I say it's hot? It is hot! Wow! Even the jackrabbits don't come out. <laughs> Said that already. Well, look at all these people out driving their cars. What does it say now? One hundred and ten. Okay, you're just repeating yourself multiple times <laughs> at this point. This could have been one of your shorter videos. I guess you want to make ad sense. Maybe I should have put that seed in your book. Just, or you're trying to kill me today. <laughs> 15 minutes of him complaining about the weather. Degrees. There it is. Right here. 110. You see it? Oh, no. I think it's supposed to be 113, actually. About 3 or 4 o'clock. It'll warm up a little bit more. <laughs> the and people were right. Those... Those people that have been here forever, they're, they they got the knowledge. They said once it gets to 110, you got 100, right? That's warm, but it's not bad, not bad because of the dry heat. 105, starting to feel like you don't even want to play golf. 110, can't do it. 
I don't know how anybody would ever get used to this. No way, Jose. Oof. But look at all these people at McDonald's, at their prison jobs, driving these cars. They're out here. What are you complaining about, Baker? Look, everybody's over here at the high school. Your, your constant YouTube uploads feels like a prison job. <laughs> Not in the respect that obviously I'm making commentary for this week. Not that I'm going to leave you, Tim. I just won't be doing it to the consistent amount that I'm doing it at the moment. I'm not left your story behind, especially with Miss Tammy coming to the town. Can't leave that. But once I get to my graduate studies, it may slow down a little bit because I have to. And also, I'll be working. So I won't have the time and the luxury of time. But I promise you, it is much nicer to do things earlier in the day and later at night. Anyway, let me just finish them out. <laughs> I don't think school's in, though. Maybe it's too hot for school. My selfie stick, I don't know where it is. I can't put it in the eye, Audi, up here on the windshield. It lasts about 10 seconds, and the phone would go off. That's another thing. I can't video out in the heat. I don't even think a GoPro would work. <laughs> All right, I got I to get over here <sighs> and get over to the uh, Planet Fitness, where it's going to be nice and cool, and I'll be oblivious to this heat out here. I'll get my pump on. <laughs> I think I'm just going to walk. I need to do a lot of walking and a lot of sliding my ass away from the table. That's what I need to do. That's exactly what I need to do. I go bad so easy. Maybe if you had a real purpose in life other than dangerous driving on YouTube videos, you would be feeling so bored and frustrated. You know, those prison jobs, they might be sitting in air conditioning. You know, uh, somebody comes over here and you know, wants to visit me, like Timmy, and, hey, let's go to the buffet. Let's go eat Mexican. Let's, um, Timmy never come back. let's do this. Let's do that. <laughs> and, uh, no. I, I, I pack it on, but I can take it off quick. If I get strong-minded, which I am, I, I can take it off quick. If I get serious, I got a couple of senior salads in the refrigerator, and I did buy some hamburger meat. I can cook up the hamburger meat, put it on the senior salad, and that's like a bunless burger and mostly salad. It's got a little meat on it. The senior salads are a little boring uh, without some kind of protein on it. So maybe I'll, I'm going to do that for dinner. Oh, okay. I have hamburger meat, said. peaches, and cottage <laughs> cheese. I can do the diet plate. Uh, and then just do the senior salad by itself. Sorry, I don't mean to talk over it, Tim. I'm so glad he shared that. <laughs> and make that my my meals. All right, so as I get here now, my, my driving knob, my steering wheel, my seats, everything in here is cool. Look, there's not too many people. Oh, What's no, today, though? Thursday? Like me. I can't so, with the camera. People are uh, they're at those prison jobs, man. <sighs> This guy's still here? Oh, my God. Um, excuse me, Tim. Um, if they were at these prison jobs, how would they be there to open up the Planet Fitness that you so enjoy? How 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 is anybody doing anything? Is it just because everyone's on a side hustle part-time because they're getting their free $1,700 check? <sighs> oh, my goodness. You are on... Just, I'm not sure why you hold such animosity towards people who work. It's just a stick that is very grating. All right, finish out, Tim, because my audience is dying for this car? content. This guy lives in this car. Right next to that truck on his left, that car, it never moves. The guy lives in it. What if he's in it now with the engine running? Probably inside like a smart person. Uh, can you not be in people's business like that? You have an RV in, in a parking lot, in a casino, in a place you are screaming about you hate because of the weather at this moment. The other day you were like, it's got everything. That was this morning. You were like, now you're like, I'm out of here. After you just, I think, paid your rent. Oh, my goodness. And people told you it was going to get hot. Oh, I guess you just don't listen to anybody else. They don't know as good as you do. Oh, my God. Sitting in the air conditioning on a sofa. It never moves. I've been coming here for about a month and a half now. Every day, well, when I do come, and that car, I saw the guy one time. And I heard about them passing a law in Arizona. Someone told me this, that you can sleep in your car. So since the gym is open... Uh, 24 hours during the week.
I had to sleep in my car like a nap when I used to have to drive back and forth from South Carolina. And I would sometimes leave after work on the Friday to get to, to spend a couple of, you know, this the weekend here at the beach, Virginia Beach, see my friends. <laughs> and I would suddenly, you know, start to get a little bit sleepy and I would take a little, little cat nap over at the rest stops <laughs> and put up all my blinds. My little dog would be in there with me and we would snuggle and not June bug, my little dog, Dolly. She's not with us. Hey. Anyway, I'm having He's a living in it and <laughs> except on the weekends. So he can go in and shower and sit in the AC and, uh, and work out. I don't know if he works out much, but he can just sit in there. And that car is just sitting there. I don't even know if it runs because he never, there's plenty of spots when he comes back, he can get another spot. So the car never moves. I'm, I'm wondering if it even uh, runs, if it's inoperative. If somebody just towed it here and said, you can have this car and that'll be your house. You can live in it. <laughs> so I feel so sorry for that person in this heat. But somehow or another, I mean, like here I am complaining. And I mean, if that air conditioner... Stop working in my RV. What are these Whoa. fans back here? What are these? Are these trainers? I mean, what in the? What? I'm still trying to figure out the storage unit and the truck. None of these items are going to be affected by the heat that it can have in the car, especially this rubber stuff. I've just, I've never seen anything of the like. <laughs> I would instantly uh, get a room. I would instantly Not go somewhere with his air conditioning. To, oh, it's, and it's, it's workout shoes. Especially for someone who claims to be a minimalist. And he has all this. I mean, a minimalist wouldn't even have this probably in their home. You just, just no. You need to stop uh, saying that because you don't appear to have that. I don't know why these. As soon as it cooled down, I would instantly hook it up and take it to the uh, RV place. And tell him to put a new one on. And I would have to get a room until it's fixed. Oh, my gosh. It is hot. So I'm going to get out now, go in there, crush it, and I'm going to run in there. Believe me, I'm going to crush it. Mm, no, you're not. <laughs> I, I, I'm betting that's a big no. <laughs> oh, luckily we didn't get a video inside the Planet Fitness. I think that was his last one of the day. It certainly is for me for today. Because I didn't see anything coming out. Um, and midnight is like my cutoff here on the East Coast, Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> this is my cutoff time for reacting for the day, for day four. This is day four, so I'm more than halfway through this journey. And uh, this is video number 18. I have never pumped out this much content in four days. <laughs> I'm surprised we only got four videos. He just, maybe something happened at the Planet Fitness. Because <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't come back and give us a six-hour diatribe. Anyway, guys, let me finish this out. I'm obviously exhausted. <laughs> but I, I, I power through, man. I got this. <laughs> All right, guys. If you happen to like my wild content over here and my enjoying the challenge that I've set myself and want to you know, like, comment, subscribe, leave me a camera or something for some dangerous driving that Tim was doing. I appreciate it. And as always, I always want to give shout outs because that's part of what I said I do. It's part of my membership tiers is recognizing all of these individuals who have showed um, support for me. And I need to add Blind View's name on here. So thank you so much for joining the channel and showing support for my, I think probably because I've just set such a, a challenge that nobody else would want to take. <laughs> set one of his subscribers, maybe. All right. My voice is gone. I'm playing out the music. Bye. Bye.